fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today to start kitting up my Vibrant Italy in preparation for the Chuck Along starting March 1st. So I have my diamond painting log so I can start recording and then I have everything set up. I am going to be kitting up for this in my Elizabeth Ward storage. I've got my stickers from Diamond Art Club, so I'm just gonna jump in. So, because Diamond Painting, or Diamond Art Club gives us these stickers, these are the ones that I use, because why reinvent the wheel, right? So, the name of this kit is Vibrant Italy. It is 93 by 70. And somewhere I have written down what it actually is, but I'll go back and find that either later. It is a full. It is a square. It has 53 colors. And I think I had to go to the website to find the actual number of drills and I want to say it was over a hundred thousand so I don't normally put that on there but I guess I should start if I can find it on the website so I do have the color key on the canvas and on my stickers it is poured glue I'm gonna call this one advanced just because of the number of colors the size and all of that good stuff um, of course, this is Diamond Art Club. So I'm going to list that as the seller. I don't remember off the top of my head how much it costs, so I will have to go back up, as well as I'm going to have to go back and look at my ordered and received dates. I ordered this a while ago, so I don't know. Um, but I'm going to put on here that I'm going to start it on 3-1, because that is when I will be starting it. Okay. So that's all I'm going to fill out now for um, the log because I won't actually start on it until March 1st when the chuck along starts. And yeah, okay, so I can set this aside because I'm done with this. And then I can start kidding up. I don't usually do anything with this big sticker. I know some people sometimes put it in their diamond painting logs, but because of the way I have mine set up and because I use a much smaller log, which is something I'm thinking about changing, my daily planner is eight and a half by 11 basically. And so now I'm kind of wondering if I want to go ahead and make my diamond painting log that same size. It would allow me to have more room for stickers and things like this. Plus, one of the things I would like to do is in addition to having this sticker is to be able to print out one of the completed kit once I take a picture and I finish the painting to take a picture of it completed and then put that next to it just so you can kind of, when I go back through the log, I can see the differences. So just something I'm considering. But for now, I'm using this other log. So. As I said, I'm gonna be using my Elizabeth Ward and I have cut all of my colors into sections because some of these colors, there are a lot of them. So for instance, I have seven bags of 3371. So that's gonna go in one of these big containers. I've got five bags, four bags, three bags, two bags, one fairly full bags. And then I have a whole bunch over here that are probably going to be their one bag, but will it be small enough they can fit in the smallest container. So I'm going to start with this first because that just seems to make the most sense to get them all going. So 3371, peel off the sticker, put it on here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get all of these in one container, but I'm going to try. Okay, so... Let me cut off. I should have pulled my trash can over here closer too. Hang on just a moment while I grab that. Okay. Because I am definitely going to have some trash after all of this. Oh, and I probably need a tray just in case. Let me grab one of those. 
Okay, and now we're ready to go. I don't remember how many bags I could fit into one of those. I don't know if I'm going to get them all in there, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? Let me cut this one off. And I'm going to dump it in here. And then I will cut off the top of the next one. Just to make this a little... Hmm. Definitely don't think I'm going to get all six of them in one container at this rate. Oh, and there's a couple stuck in there, so hang on just a minute. Might be able to get four. Let me cut these all apart because that's not working for me. Okay. Well, I might get five, maybe. If I don't spill them everywhere, of course. I don't think I've ever had one that I had so many. Well, I take that back. I was going to say that I couldn't get them all in one container, but I did my Lenore where I had multiple 3371. And I'm going to have these two bags left. So do I want to put them in another one, but then I need a sticker. So I'm going to go grab one of those stickers. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've pulled some leftover square stickers and I'm just going to write the DMC number on here because I want to get everything kitted up. I don't want to have anything floating around in these extra bags. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here. But I needed some way to know, know that these are going to be 3371. So. I could have just left them, but because these are going in my Elizabeth Ward and everything is kind of, you know, laid on the front so that you can see it, I would rather just get everything kitted up, even if that means I'm using multiple containers. Just so I don't get confused, because Lord knows I don't need any help in that department. Okay, and then I will put the number on here, which it doesn't have the symbol, but that's okay. So I'll use out of this container first when I'm working so that I know what symbol it is and I'll leave it at that. Okay, then the next one that I have the most of is 935. So let me find the sticker for that one. Okay, and I have six bags of this color. So let's see. I don't think I'm gonna get six bags in this either. Although they may be slightly less full than the other ones, so maybe. We'll see. I am slowly recovering. It's been a crazy week at work because it is parent teacher conference week. And it's like somehow the kids seem to sense that. So they're extra crazy that week. So, and I don't mind parent teacher conferences. You know, it's nice too, because a lot of times that's really the only time I see the parents. Our parents, you know, generally drop off. So unless they're coming in for birthdays or a party or something, we don't generally see them much. Um, just, you know, while they're dropping off and picking up. And so it's kind of nice to get to the chance to sit down and talk with them and brag on their kids a little bit. We have some pretty, pretty funny characters in our classes this year. Whoa, there's one that... Okay, and I'm not going to get all of these in here, I don't think. I could try. Hmm. Do I want to try and get them all in there? Maybe. I'll try. If I change my mind, I change my mind. 
anyway, we've got some real characters and the kids are just hilarious. So, hmm. yeah, I don't think those are all going to fit in there. Okay. Let me dump some of these out all over the place, apparently. And then let me finish dumping those out. Okay, and then I think these will probably fit in one of these. Or I'll use one of my really small ones and see if it'll fit in here. I bet they'll all fit in here. Come on. I'm really excited to start this kit. Hmm. Now for this one, well, let me write the number on here and then I'm going to cut the sticker in half because these little ones, because they're laying on their sides like that, sometimes it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to make my sticker pretty small so I can see it. And I'm going to lay that in there and lay that there. Okay. Now, the one I have the next most of is 743. So let me 743. The sticker is on here. And in addition to it being parent teacher conference week, it's just been a busy week for me. I have been trying to get all kinds of paperwork done, um, both for school and other things. I have been trying to train the people who are going to be taking over my job after I'm gone. And, you know, it's just so many things about your job that you just kind of don't even think about that you just do because you know, you've been doing your job for a while. And so I keep making notes for myself that I'm like, Oh, I forgot to tell them about this or they'll, they'll do something. And I'm like, Oh, uh, I should have told you about that because, because I just know it, you know, because I've done the job. And so I just don't think about telling someone else because I'm the only one who's done it up to this point. Whoops. Okay, I got all of those in one container, so yay. Okay, and then I have five of 938. So let me find 938. And hopefully I can get all of these in one container. Since I managed to with the last one. And then I've got a couple of big containers left for these large amounts of colors. So this kit is going to be very interesting because there's very some very dark colors like these dark browns and dark greens which you would think is going to make it really dark. But then there's also all of these kind of very bright, vibrant yellows and oranges. And so, yeah, I'm excited to, to do this one and see what it turns out like. Okay, so all of those are in there. So there's that one. Okay, so now let's see what color is this. 779. So I will take one of these, 779. Still debating whether I want to buy a second tray to set things in because sometimes I have more than will fit into one tray. And also I kind of have to have storage space available for all the ones that I'm not using, where if I had a second tray, I could just put them in the second tray and they would all kind of be contained in one spot. It'd be more organized, that's what I want, more organization. 
think that's part of the appeal for me for diamond painting is like I said, making kind of this organizing chaos. You get all of these drills and all of these bags and you have stickers and containers that you can work with. Okay, I think I'm going to do 310 next. And I got four bags of it. And this is my last big container. So 310, let's get the sticker for that. I still remember kitting up my Hannah Lynn that I did with the 11 bags of 310. So I think I had like three containers this size just full of 310. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Because when you look at some of those paintings like Hannah Lynn and Mandy Manzano, you know, you don't really realize, or uh, Mika Jelena, you don't realize how much black there is until you actually do the painting because our eye just doesn't see it sometimes you know you see the outlines and stuff of course but you just don't always realize how much black is there okay and this is 9:37. I'm really debating whether I want to get another Josephine wall my budget says no but my heart says yes so they're currently not speaking to each other because I have a Josephine wall that I could do that I bought and I'm planning on doing that one but I have some others that I would also like to do I'm not as much of a fan of her um, Zodiac series as some of her other stuff so ooh, I am not going to get that last bag in here am I Okay, that one goes in there, but just barely. So I'm going to, let's see. This is 937, so let me write this on this sticker that I already conveniently cut in half. So I can put it on here, because I think I can get one bag in this small container, I hope anyway. Well, whoops, missed one from another color there, didn't I? Okay, push all those so they're not getting stuck on the side. Okay, so there's 937. Got one last one with four. I'm just finding all kinds of crazy drills. 3860. So cut these apart and then I will put the sticker on. 38. 60. Oh, it's the very last one. I was like, wait a minute. 3830 is not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Okay. So this is the last of the ones that have four. So let's see if I can get all of these in here since I didn't manage that with the 937. That's a piece of trash. Ooh, somebody told me, I think it was Jess, that... Uh, Jade over at Jadekins is going to be putting out a video about foolproof ways to tell resin from acrylic drills. So I am anxiously awaiting that video because I would love to know. Nope, those are not going to all fit in there. Darn it. Okay, so I need another small one of this too. Okay. Well, they're just flying everywhere. Okay, so 3860. I'm going to use one of these sizes instead. That means that I can use a bigger sticker or a full size sticker as well as it can fit more in the container, I think. So I almost didn't have enough room on that last one. Okay. Come on, 
get in there. Oh my goodness, you guys. It doesn't want to get in there. Okay. So now I'm done with all the ones that I had five and four of. So now I need to move over the ones that I have three of so I can work on those next. So I've got 3854 and I'm going to put those in this one because I should be able to get three bags of drills in each of these containers. They should be big enough for that. Although I am wondering if I'm going to end up having more than one layer of containers in my tray because I've got enough colors to do that. Did I not separate that all the way? There we go. Now they'll pour. I do appreciate having these larger bags with Diamond Art Club. Did I just lose a drill? There it is. those little bags that only have like 200 drills a piece in them that you get with some kits. I mean the drills may still be nice quality but I just hate messing with that many bags. Ooh, that was a close call. I almost didn't get all those in there. Okay, so there's that one. Pick up this trash. Okay, and then 3772. Like I said, these are all kind of darker colors, and then all of a sudden there'll be a bright splash of yellow or red. There's some coral, some terracotta. There's all kinds of colors in here. So yeah, really, really stoked to start this one. Although that means I'm going to have to put some of my other ones I've been working on on hold while I do this one, which is okay. You know, it's, they're all coming out of my stash. So for, in that respect, it's all good, but I have not worked on my diamond paintings this month like I should have. I know I was already short of the goal that I needed last year or last month. 890 and so I should have worked extra this month but I'm just telling myself spring break is coming up I've got three weeks left two or three weeks left until we go on spring break so when we go on spring break hopefully I will be caught up with everything and I can just use the time to diamond paint because that would be awesome so that's my goal is to get everything else taken care of as far as work and school and lesson planning and paperwork and all of that so that I can just concentrate on diamond painting. Okay, three, three, four, six. Three, three, four, six. And let's hope I don't make any mistakes this time, like I have previously, I'm forgetting to put the stickers on so I don't know what colors are what, because I've done it. And I found, you guys, when I was putting all of my, redoing all of my spare storage, I found several instances where I had put round drills in the square bag and vice versa. I did only find one bag where I somehow had inadvertently put rounds and squares in the same bag. So thank goodness for that, because if I'd have found too many of those, I would have cried, but I didn't make too many mistakes. And hopefully I didn't make any mistakes when I was putting them away this time, especially since I was putting them in separate boxes. So it made it a little easier to keep track of. Okay, 436. And then I've only got one more that I've got three bags of. Okay. 
I'm getting better at pouring them, I think. So I'm looking forward to this event. And of course, as soon as I tell you I'm getting better at pouring them, I spill them everywhere because of course I do. Karma should know better than to tempt fate. Okay. Uh, I'm looking forward to this event and I was pleasantly surprised by everyone's reactions to my event announcements. So I'm pretty stoked and hope that uh, you can join in and I will be providing you know, more details as it gets closer to the date. So, okay. This is a pretty brick red. And I missed one. Whoops. I missed another one that went flying. Okay. Let me get those out of there. Come on. Okay, that was the last one that I had three bags of. So now I'm down to two bags and I'm going to move to the smaller containers and see if I can get two bags in that one small container because I'm already down to I only have this row and the rest of this one left and I still have quite a few colors so the smaller the containers that I can get away with the better it will be for putting these all in one tray if they fit we'll see okay I think these will fit sometimes I find it hard to judge how full the bags are my goodness, you guys. Apparently I have the shakes today because I'm spilling them everywhere. Okay. So there's that color. My trash can is getting full too. I should have emptied it before I started. Okay, 814. I like this color too. 814. Okay, let's see if I can hold on to one without spilling it. Oh, I'm doing the other one. Trying to get efficient here. We'll see how well I do. Okay, let me push those around so I can get that one closed. Those are full, but I think that's working. Okay, I'm going to need 400. I don't even know why I'm cutting them apart. I should just do this. Cut down on the number of cuts I'm having to make. Maybe that will speed the process along. Okay, you lay there. Did this cut all the way through? Put this in there. Ooh, this one was a little full. Okay, let me, there's one left in the bag, get that one out. Let me close this, tamp these down a little bit, and then see if I can get these last few in there. Whoops. Okay, all right. Now I need number 720. Okay. Shake those down so I can cut just once. I feel like I'm getting so efficient, you guys. Don't know whether I really am or not, but it feels that way. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be full too. Come on, let's put you all in there. Come on. All right. Whew. Okay. 
then 435. Guys, I'm making progress. I'm probably, well, I was gonna say over half done, but no. Probably over half done with just the number of bags, but not the number of colors. Okay, let me see. That one there, and that one there. Oh gosh, my family is making all kinds of noise. I hope you guys can't hear any of that. I thought they were done making noise, so that's why I came in here, because I thought I would go ahead and film while they were done making noise. Ooh, things are flying out of that one. Did I lose one somewhere? There it is. I thought I felt one go flying. Okay, let's see if I can get all these back in there. Okay, and push that out of the way of the container lid. And then that one, which was just a piece of trash anyway, can go in the trash. Okay, and then my last two bag is number 301. Okay, number 301. These look kind of full, so I'm going to do these this way. And let's see if they really are that full. Okay. So full, but still got them all in there. Okay. Now I'm down to my bags of only one. So there's only one bag of each color. So you know what? I'm going to go at this a little bit backwards. I'm going to grab all of the ones that will fit in the super small ones because I want to do those first and then if I don't have room for some of the other ones, we'll see. So I'm going to do my ABs first. So number one. Okay. And this is 129. Okay. Make sure I'm not mixing them up here. This is a pretty yellow. Come on, get out of there. Okay. And then I need number two, which is 132, which I think is actually like a 700 number, but the Diamond Art Club's DMC number for, or AB number for their AB drills. Okay, so there's my AB drills done. Okay, so now I'm just going to start putting these in here. Okay, 647. And I could try and put them in here by number, but I'm just, I'm just going to put them in here random because I'm okay with that. Okay, let's see. Get all those out of there. Okay, and then 754. I gotta say, I'm really liking these um, already cut for me stickers. I mean, of course I can make them myself and I have, but not having to do that extra step is always nice. I'm just gonna dump these out since this bag is crunchy. got crunched in transport so okay then three zero three three yeah I'm definitely gonna end up with double layers of drills I'm pretty sure but we'll see we'll see how far I get okay then I need some more of these small ones. Pull these over here. So I need 803. 
Hmm, it sounds like someone in my family is actually doing the dishes. I would go out and yell at them for making noise, but if they're actually doing the dishes, that means I don't have to do them, so... Hopefully you guys can't hear that, but... I never know sometimes what carries over and what doesn't. Okay, 992. Okay. The only thing about using these where I put the stickers because I try to put them over there is that sometimes they don't want to stick down very well. 37.55. Okay. Then 3.22. So when you guys are buying diamond paintings, do you look at, oh, there's a spare AB in there from somewhere. Hmm. Do you guys look at, you know, how many colors there are? So many things that I just don't even look at. Like I look at the image. If I like the image, then I'm like, okay, I'll buy that one. I don't really often look at too much at the size. Um, I don't look at whether they're round or squares. Like I always say, I'm an equal opportunity diamond painter, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh no, you guys, I messed up. This is 434, so W can't be 434. Which one am I missing? Oh no, you guys. I was trying so hard not to mess up. Now it's going to have to wait and see. Hopefully I didn't make that mistake anywhere else. There's a 435, so I'm wondering if that's it. And I just grabbed the 435 instead of the 434. Let's cross my fingers. That's all I did. Come on, get out of there. Okay, then I'll grab some more of the small ones. I need 606, which is a very pretty red. Okay. Six oh six. Anyway, do you guys look at that kind of stuff? I'm more just a, you know, jump in because hey, I like this one versus, you know, do you really consider? Of course, I also am just doing this for my own enjoyment. I'm typically not planning on framing these or, you know, doing anything with them after I get them finished. So, although I am trying to figure out what I need to do about that as well. I have so many finished ones kind of hanging around that I don't know what to do with. And, you know, everyone's always telling me, oh, you should sell them, blah, blah, blah. Well... I mean, yes, but I haven't really seen anybody be very successful at selling them finished, so I don't know how well that works. And also, you know, can you make your money back as much as shipping costs these days? Is it is it worth it to do that? Okay, there's 900 I just panicked for a minute thinking that I had once again put the wrong number on there, but we'll see. Okay, get out of there. Okay, so that can go in there. I think I've got another room for a small one up there. So let me throw these away. Okay, so those were all the ones that were kind of, didn't have very many in them. These are some other ones, so we'll see. Can I get one more in there? I don't think so. No. Okay. 991. 
definitely need a second tray. I'm going to have to look at that. I think I looked at them on Amazon and I just hadn't pulled the trigger yet. So definitely have to look at that and see because that would probably be a good investment for me to do that. All right, 321. Just so I don't have to double stack them when I'm using them for a painting like this. Come on, get out of the way. It was right there on the lid, so it didn't want to close. Okay, so that one isn't going to fit in there. And probably neither are the rest of these, but that's okay. Okay. 646 I'm going to put in this small one. And then some of these, I don't know if they're going to fit in these small ones. I might have to move up to the next biggest size. We'll see. Okay. There's that one. Okay. And then 834. Guys, I'm still really hoping that that's the mistake I made with 435 because I can't believe I did that. I get busy talking and asking you guys questions and then I just don't pay enough attention. Whoops. So do you guys like kitting up? I guess I saw somebody was offering a service where if you buy the drills from them, they offer a kit up. And, well, you can get a, a, basically you buy the drills from them and they'll kit everything up if they know what kit it is. I think it's only if you do like a heaven and earth designs, but I don't know that for sure. Um, anyway, I thought, well, that's an interesting service. I enjoy kit ups, so I don't want to do somebody to do it for me because I enjoy this part of it. It is kind of a pain sometimes, but... I enjoy it. Um, the other thing was that the kit ups came in Harbor Freight containers. So people who were outside the US were really, ooh, because of course you can't get Harbor Freight containers outside the US, which I still don't understand. Like, isn't that the point of us being kind of, you know, this digital global market? so that you can sell them outside of the U.S. or whatever country you're in. I don't know if it has something to do with the way they're made or what they're made of. I'm not sure. Ooh, I thought I had two of the same color there, but I didn't. Okay. All right. I only have five of these little ones left, so I'm going to kit up into these until they're gone and then I will have to kit up in the next size up because that will be all that I have left. I don't have very many colors left though so that's good. Okay so I'm just going to stack these up here so that they're out of the way. 666 and I'm leaving that little spot in this row, there's a spot where I can stick this one. Once I figure out what color it is. Okay, 738. I'm trying to make sure I pick the actual right one this time since I messed that up before. Whoops. Okay, there's those. And then my last little one here for, I'm gonna put 939 in that one. I know I didn't put the sticker on yet, but I remember this is 939. Let me get these all in here. Come on, get out of there. Okay, that's all of those, 939. See, I told you I'd remember. Okay, so there's that one. Let me get all this trash out of the way. 
can't stand working in all this mess. Okay, so I have these colors left. And they're gonna go in here because these are the only containers I have left. So 783. getting excited I'm almost done okay I'm gonna put that one in there I'm gonna put that one in there just so they're all in there nice and neat I don't think I have room for another one in there do I can I put a small one in there I don't think so but let me try nope okay so now I need 644 Still debating whether or not it would be nice to kit these all up into trays, but you guys, I just am so afraid that I would spill them everywhere. Even though if I had, you know, lids that had, or trays that had lids, I just, yeah, I'm terrified that I would just dump them everywhere. Okay, 355. Pretty sure that one that I messed up the numbers on is 435, but let me finish all these up and see. Just to make sure. Okay, there's that one. 3778. Okay. Seven, eight, eight, twenty-three. Ooh, we got. Wait a minute, what did I do? Okay, there's eight twenty-three. Here's four forty-five. Guys, I have a sticker left over. Did I miss a bag somewhere? Did I knock one off? I'm gonna have to go look. What did I do? Okay, 471, which is this one. So I have this tray, which is either 435 or 728, but I seem to be short a bag of drills. Oh no. Did I knock them in the floor? Hmm. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so <laughs> it's so fun to be me. Here's what happened. So I went back through the trash. Yes, I did get number 728, which is the one that I'm missing here. Um, so that means this one is 435, so that's all good. Unfortunately, apparently what I did was 743 was, there was only three when I thought there were four. The fourth one was actually 728, and I went back and watched the video to make sure that's what I did. So I thought, okay, well, I'll look and see, and I'll just separate them, except that they all look exactly the same to me. They are apparently so close in color that my eyeballs cannot tell the difference. So I have some options. I could send an email to Diamond Art Club and explain the situation and ask them to send me replacement drills. Um, I could just ask for the 728 but I think what I'm going to do is just explain what happened and then say, can I have the 743 and the 728? Because I can't tell them apart and I don't want to 
mess this painting up. We'll see. Last time I got replacements from them, they very graciously sent them, but it took forever. So I don't know for sure that I would get them before the end of the chuck along. And I really want to get this painting done by then. So I thought, well, let me go to my spares and see what I can do. So I went and pulled out my spares. Here's my spare 728. Now, in addition to there being two different shades in here, these are nowhere close to these shades. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe I can order them from a drill painting company or drill company. So I got on and checked three or four different drill shops where I can order drills from. And some places list 728 as a golden yellow, some places listed as a topaz, and a couple of places that I found basically look like this color. So I'm assuming that would be what I got if I ordered it from them. There was one shop that had it listed as a golden yellow, which is, I think, more what this is. So I'm going to order it from that place and see if that's enough. And then we'll just see what happens because once again, I'm an idiot and I wasn't paying attention and now I've made a big mess for myself. So, and I mean, I even dumped all of these out into my big tray and I got out my magnifying glass to see if I could see the differences in the shades. And I'm assuming they're just so mixed together at this point that I can't really tell the difference. I thought there would be enough of a difference if I dumped them out, I'd be able to tell, but I can't. So, um, that's where I'm at. So, yeah, there's my kit up. So, I'm going to leave this one out because I know that's the one that I messed up. And then here is all of these colors. Let me move some of these out of the way. Here's all of these colors. And then I have all of these colors that wouldn't fit in. Whoops. That sticker almost came off. Let me fix that because that would be bad. And then all of these. So, and I keep pressing down all of these stickers because they don't stick the way that I want them to on these small ones. So, that's where I'm at. I'm going to send an email explaining what I did for the mix up. In the meantime, I do have these just in case, but we'll see how long it takes for the replacements and also the extra ones that I order. So we'll see what happens. It's always something with me guys. So there you go. That is my kit up of Vibrant Italy for Chuck Pinson, which I am getting ready to do for the Chuck Along, which starts March 1st. So Expect to see um, the kit in some future whipping chats. And yeah, that's where I'm at. So thanks for joining me, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks so much for watching.